and thank you so much for watching. I have a tutorial for you guys today. So I wore this look in a few different videos of mine and a lot of people actually requested it and it's a pretty neutral smoky eye but it has a purple accent to it which I think is a perfect pop of color. You know, it's not overly dramatic so maybe some of you are kind of on a fence about trying a bright color eyeshadow or you just don't like that sort of look. You can just throw in a pop of purple into your eye look and spice it up that way and I also think that purple is perfect for fall season so it goes together with the whole autumn theme. I already did a tutorial with bright red lips and winged liner which I will link down below and I will also be doing a burgundy smoky eye tutorial very soon and for today I'm going to do this purple and brown smoky eye. And also this is a collab with the beautiful Zlata here on YouTube. She's a beauty guru who's also from Ukraine like I am but she's blonde so if you guys out there who are blonde who have lighter eyes that are looking for like some makeup tutorials maybe that you know suit your hair type or your eye color something like that you know go check her out she's awesome I will insert a little clip from her video that she did right here so you can check it out and then I will link that tutorial down below in the info box so you can go see it and subscribe to her and I will also link all our social media down below as well so if you guys want to know how to get this look then please keep watching Okay, so before I do my foundation, I'm going to apply some face primer. So this is the skin, this is skin tightener and light filler, which just smooths out my skin and makes it very matte. For foundation, I'm going to mix these two. So this is the Pixi Flawless Beauty Fluid and number three, Warm. And this is the Victoria's Secret Tinted Moisturizer in Golden Medium. For concealer, I'm first going to use this Pixi Flawless Beauty Stick in number 3 Warm, which is the same shade as my foundation, but I usually just use this just for extra coverage underneath my eyes. It just opens up this entire eye area. Now for the lighter concealer, I'm going to use this Sony Kashuk Palette and my little Sedona Lace Eyebrush 11. Now to set everything, I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Foundation Powder, and this is the color Golden Tan, along with my favorite of all time powder brush. This is the Sigma F80, which I actually have a 10% coupon code for, so I will link that down below. Now I'm just going to apply some matte bronzer to contour my cheekbones. And this is my very favorite NYC Sunny Bronzer, and the brush is Sedona Lace 480. Then to brighten up my complexion, I'm going to use this Victoria's Secret Bronzer in Glitterati, along with my Sigma F30 brush. Now for my eyebrows, I'm going to use my new brow bar from Whitening Lightning, and I actually have a coupon code for them where you can get this for 70% off for like a huge discount. So I will put that coupon code along with the link down below. So it comes with a dark and a light shade of brown and this little wax along with a little brush. But I'm actually going to use a different brush in this case just because it's my first time trying this out. So I'm going to take the dark powder and I'm just going to start filling in my eyebrows. It has a little mirror right there so that helps a lot. I'm going to take this light shade here, and by the way this is Sit on a Lace Eyebrush 23. I'm going to fill in the very front of my brows with the lighter powder. And if you guys want an updated brow routine, let me know. And then I'm going to take the little brush that comes with it and dip it into the wax to set the powder. And I'm just going to take some of that same dark brown color and contour my nose. And then you can just blend it all out. See, that makes such a difference. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to apply some of this Urban Decay Primer Potion just to make sure eyeshadows don't crease. I'm going to use this palette here along with a couple other colors because I did this makeup for a couple of different videos and a lot of you requested it. So I just used my California collection 
Beige Cosmetics palette which has a brown, gold, and purple, but I also added some black to it. So I'll be doing that today, except I'm going to switch up this gold color for a golden pigment that I just like better because it's brighter. This is by Bella Pierre and it's a gorgeous golden pigment and I got this in my Beauty Box 5 which I will link down below if you want to try it out. So I'm just going to dip my brush into it and this is my Sedona Lace Eyebrush 9 and I'm just going to start applying it as a highlight underneath the eyebrow and pulling it down into the inner corner and to the center of the lid along with the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to take this purple with my crease brush from e.l.f. and start applying it to the crease. And by the way, I got this sample palette from Ipsy, so I'll link them down below too. So I'm just putting it into my crease and taking it all the way up to the highlight. I'm going to use whatever is left over in the first brush and just kind of blend the two colors together. Then I'm going to dip my Sedona Lace Eyebrush 13 into the brown and apply it on the outer V to get it into the purple. You can blend them out a little bit if you want. This is the Sedona Lace 217 brush. And then finally I'm going to apply some of this black color from my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette with my e.l.f. brush. I'm just going to make a little B on the outer corner, but I'm not taking it all the way to the crease. And this is a matte, so it'll contrast perfectly with the shimmers that we already applied. And I'm going to take my Sedona Lace Eyebrush 15 and just sort of blend the color out, but I'm being careful as to not go like that and smudge it together with the purple and brown so you can still see those two colors, but I'm just making the edges a little bit softer. purple anymore, you can also add a little bit of that in. So the purple is not so obvious underneath the brown and the black, but it gives a little bit of a different feel to the very basic brown and black smoky eye. Then I'm just going to curl my lashes with my favorite Julep eyelash curler, which I will link down below. And apply mascara. This is my Lorac 3D Multiplex Lashes. You can sweep away any fallout with a fluffy brush. And if you like to, you can also add eyeliner. I'm going to use my Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liquid Eyeliner, which is super precise. I actually want to darken up the liner a little bit, so I'm going to take this gel liner from Maybelline along with my tiny Ette brush. I want to clean up the edges of the eyeshadow, so I'm going to take a moistened Q-tip. For my lips, I'm going to take these two products. This is the Queen Collection by CoverGirl, and this color is called Penelope Pink. It's a gorgeous baby pink color. And then this Victoria's Secret Pink Lip Gloss and Cherry. So the pink, I think, complements the purple and the eyes, so it pulls the look together, but at the same time, the lips are pretty neutral, they're not overly dramatic, so they don't overpower the eyes. So that is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I think the purple is perfect for me.
It is written. It is written. It is written. It is written.